Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this blog where we have a short interview with Pranab. So he is a very popular figure for this channel. If you have not seen the video series that I have with him, you can check the video series in the info card or in the image flashing on the screen. So we had a short video series before he came to Netherlands for bachelors. At that time, obviously, I also did not have that much idea about uh, bachelors in Netherlands because I started from masters. So now what I'm trying to do is uh, gather these persons who are like currently pursuing bachelors in Netherlands so that they can share some of their experiences and it will help you to benefit uh, you all. So let's start with uh, Pranab who is from India. Uh, so we'll leave to Pran Pranab before we go to Pranab. We'll start with the first question. So where are you from and what is your academic background? Uh, so hi, um, I'm from New Delhi, India, and uh, I've done CBSE grade 12 high school in India. And um, yeah, I just have my 12th certificate and I moved here to do uh, to study TCS in U20. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. So you are in computer science. So why did you want to come to Netherlands for bachelors and how did you find out about it? So Netherlands was uh, my main aim because uh, most of the programs here were in English. The universities were of uh, great quality and um, it was affordable. Like if you compare price of US or UK to Netherlands is quite affordable. And um, that was the main reason, I think. And also it's something different than most people do. So that was also um, one of the reasons why I came to the Netherlands, I would say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are the application requirements in brief? And did you take help of any consultancy or you applied everything yourself? Um, I uh, applied everything by myself. I didn't took help of anyone. Um, so requirements are very simple. Uh, for English requirements, you need IELTS about 6.5 at least and uh, you need a CBSE certificate uh, if you are from CBSE board of course uh, with five subjects with at least a B1 and it should not be physical education they have some restrictions here against that or if you are from ICSC uh, you need 75% overall um, in the five subjects and uh, if uh, you are some any other board they usually have requirements on their website so you can check it there and uh, you'll find it. Um, yeah. Okay. And regarding this, I also asked the other person he didn't know. So apart from ILTS, can someone giving TOEFL also come? Is it accepted or no? it's only yeah. ILTS? So TOEFL also uh, TOEFL is also accepted. Um, because I only give IELTS, uh, but I don't know the TOEFL score that is required. But that is there on the website, so you can check. Okay. How much time did you take to plan and spend on applying for these positions of the universities? So planning was very straightforward. I went to the university's website and I just looked up how to apply through uh, the study link. Basically, that's the main website where you apply through and uh, the entire process was very smooth. The instructions were laid out very clearly what you should submit and what you should upload and what should you submit through the post like the documents, the certificates. Uh, they were very clearly mentioned, so I just noted steps down and uh, I just did everything according to the procedure. It's a bit of you have to do a bit of research. Uh, just it's very small. Like just go through Studio Link and just apply, and everything will fall in fall in the place. So it was very it was not very difficult. It only took me like one week of some planning, and I applied within two three days, and uh, it was it was fine. Yeah. Okay. So. Did you get any scholarship? If yes, then how much or you didn't apply for it or how do you finance your studies like? OK, um, so scholarship in Netherlands at bachelor's level is very rare. If I have to be very honest, even in most of the Dutch universities, like I have friends who are studying in a lot of Dutch universities are like international friends. So 
even they say the scholarships are very rare at bachelor's level because the fees is already quite subsidized like it's already cheaper than a lot of other countries so they don't really provide scholarships at a bachelor level but um yeah so i didn't really apply for a scholarship and um for funding my education i think my parents are doing that so yeah and i earn some money through part time but it's usually not that much but uh, it's more of like um you know some sometimes it pays some of my one week of food bill or something but not much mainly uh, my parents fund it yeah okay yeah we'll discuss that in the next video in detail so stay tuned for the next video uh going to the final question that i have uh so this video the entire focus is before coming to netherlands what all you need to know and what all you need to do before you come to netherlands for bachelor's uh, so going to the final question any advice for students who want to apply for 20 university bachelor's in computer science yes um so the main requirement is like the main advice i would give is to carefully look through the course if it really fits you well and also please look through the uh if the cultural aspects fit you at all like if it's like you are going to live there for about a long time so you just also want to feel the place more like home so just yeah take a look around uh, the culture just study about the culture the also the university and most importantly uh the course as well and um just try looking and asking everyone questions and uh, uh if see if it fits you well or not that's the main thing to see if the university will fit you well or not in the long term yeah okay okay thank you pranav for joining for this uh, interview and uh, i hope that all of you like this video if you like this video then don't forget to smash the like button and share this video so that many people are already asking me questions about uh, bachelor's in netherlands because i don't have that many videos in the channel so maybe it will be useful for all of you and if you have not subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe to the channel and in the next video we are going to talk about the experiences of pranav after he came to netherlands while well, he was doing bachelor's because he is already in his second year so do watch the second video to know more about it till next video bye from netherlands